Miliate went missing two years ago today, and it comes just days before a planned trip for her daughter's birthday. Since then, authorities and Maya's family have not stopped looking for her. CBS 8's Regina Urita was at the hike and talked to Maya's sister, who says she's not giving up until she gets answers. Today marks the two year anniversary since the disappearance of 39 year old Maya Miliete. And still, till this day, the family has not gotten any closure or answers of her whereabouts, making it an even more chilling and heartbreaking experience for them. Two years too long. That was the message being heard loud and clear at Mount San Miguel Park, where dozens of people from Chula Vista came together for today's hike to support the family of Maya Miliete. It was a panic you know, panic feeling that something is wrong, something is really wrong. Today's ceremony and hike were held as a symbol of the countless team searches set up hoping to find answers of her whereabouts. While many participated and showed their support, Maya's sister, Maricri, says she's still haunted by this day. Something really bad happened to her and it brings us back to this weekend that same feeling. Maya's husband, 41 year old Larry Miliete, is in jail awaiting trial on a murder charge in connection with her disappearance. It's the same day she contacted a divorce attorney. Prosecutors allege Miliete was angry at Maya for having an affair. Miliete repeatedly paid online spellcasters via email asking them to make his wife have an accident and get hurt according to an arrest warrant filed in the case. On the night she went missing, a surveillance camera recorded loud bangs from the family's home sounding like gunshots. Because of the poor quality of the recording, the FBI could not confirm that the loud bangs were in fact gunshots. And you'll see that law enforcement sometimes protects certain aspects of investigations because ultimately these cases have to go to court. And the goal is to make sure that only the responsible person is held accountable. And we believe that's Larry Maliette. With a body still missing, Maliette's defense attorney has argued that Maya could still be alive, adding that her client should not be accused of murder. There's no way that my sister is going to leave us for two years, have us, the whole family suffer. But Maricris has not given up hope. She continues to receive a strong community support. When this happened, when Maya went missing, it was her, my wife asked me, like, who's going to help us? We can't do this alone. And a preliminary hearing is scheduled for Miliete on Wednesday. The hearing is not a trial. Evidence will be presented and witnesses will testify over two to three weeks in the downtown San Diego courthouse. Regina Urita, CBSA.